To all our partners of Andrew Mark Ministries in Uganda, we thank you and appreciate you for the financial support you render to us to take the gospel as far and deep in the world. Truly because of you, the gospel reaches the whole body of Christ. We speak a blessing unto your lives and families and exceeding prosperity. The following program is sponsored by Andrew Womack Ministries and Caris Babu College. Welcome to Gospel Truth with Andrew Womack, a teaching ministry that focuses on God's unconditional love and grace. We have a better covenant upon better promises, and we have a better relationship with God. We were at such a desperate place that Andrew, it was like life. It was just life that was coming from the television. And every area in our life has been turned right side up. And now, here's Andrew. It didn't say, so are you going to be in the next world. So are you in this world. That's not true of your physical body. This physical body is going to have to be changed into an immortal body and it's not true of your physical mind your mind only knows in part and prophesies in part but when that which is perfect has come then we will know all things even as also we are known your body and your soul aren't perfect. They aren't identical to Jesus right now. But in your spirit, you are identical to Jesus. As Jesus is right this moment, so is your born again spirit you have the mind of Christ 1 Corinthians 2.16 you have the same anointing that's on Christ the anointing which we have received of him abides within us it says in 1 John chapter 2, verse 20, you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things. That's not true of your little peanut-sized brain up here, but in your spirit. You know all things. You have the mind of Christ. It says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17, it says, He that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. And the word one there was translated from the Greek word hes, H-E-I-S, and it means a singular one. To the exclusion of another. It doesn't mean one in the sense that we're similar. Like here's God up here and here we are down here. We're parallel, but way below him. No, we are identical. If there are things in the spirit realm like ounces or molecules and atoms, if those things exist in the spirit realm, you are ounce for ounce, molecule for molecule, atom for atom, identical to Jesus in your spirit. Your 
jenjini. Amen. And I know that, man, people are just like, what are you saying? How could you say such a thing? Era manyi de dakati bana abantu abanji chibata buddo mugamba. Usubulo tyo gambe chintu we chityo. If this if this is hard for you to grab, it's because I'm saying this in love. You're carnal. Ida kan kubule chino chiba chikusumbu okutegera kati nchikunyonyola mu kwagala kan kubule ro inendo woza yo mubiri. You are dominated by what you see, taste, hear, smell and feel. Ida kati gwe ndo woza zo bulizimu zifugibwe cho chola bana amasoko chulya na matugo engere je we ulira mune cholo zako. You only are functioning in the physical natural realm. You aren't aware of the spirit realm. And this is the big problem in the body of Christ. The Bible says that you know you can do all things through Christ and we look at our physical abilities. We look at our lack of education, we look at our lack of talents our lack of good looks our lack of money our, we look at all of these things and think I can't do it because you're only looking in the physical but in the spirit you are ounce for ounce molecule for molecule identical to Jesus you have his mind, you have his anointing. You have his ability. Now I will admit this. That that's all in the spirit and it has to get through your mind. To go into the flesh. You know, imagine it like this. If you could just imagine that there was a pipe here. And over on this side, it was like water, life giving water. And over here is the uh, you know, the nozzle where it comes out over here. You've got this life-giving water, but there is a valve in the middle. That you have to turn. And if that valve is turned so that it blocks off the flow, you could have this life-giving water. In the pipeline, and yet not a drop of it come out that uh, opening. Over here. But but as you open that valve up, you could let just a little tiny trickle out, or you could open it up and let the whole thing flow out. In a sense, that's the way it is with your spirit. Your spirit over here, your spirit is full of the life of God. As Jesus is, so are you in this world. He that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Your spirit man has everything in it that you'll ever need. But it's got to get past this valve, your mind. You've got to open it up. You've got to start realizing who you are. And to the degree that you renew your mind, Eda kati okusinzira kuchigera gwe chozo wujendo wazayo.
You can either let out just a little tiny flow of the Spirit of God. Or you can let the Spirit of God just flow through you unrestricted and unhindered. You can walk in supernatural victory, prosperity. Healing, peace, joy. And on and on. But it has to get past this mind. But, the, but to me, the biggest part is just understanding that I've got it. If I know that I've got it, I may not know exactly how to release it. I may not understand everything yet, but if I know it's in here, I'm going to get it somehow. It just makes a huge difference in my motivation when I'm trying to release something that I believe I have. Rather than to try and go get something that I don't have. I'm not asking God to give me anything. Through Christ, I am complete in Him. Colossians chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. I'll be dealing with these scriptures more. But I'm already complete. I've already got it. It's not a matter of God giving me something. It's a matter of me discovering what God has already put on the inside of me and learning how to release it. And how to cooperate with it. And let it flow. You know, it's very similar to the laws of electricity. People have only known about electricity for the last couple of hundred years, and they've learned how to harness it. You're watching this on television or through the Internet. Or something, you're using electricity. We have air-conditioned cars. We have all of these benefits. Did you know that God didn't just create electricity a couple of hundred years ago? It's been here since day one. It was our lack of understanding how to use it that hindered us. But God didn't create anything new. We just discovered the laws that God had already made. And we, we aren't, in a sense, we aren't creating electricity. We're just harnessing the natural laws that God has made and learning how to use them. When a person receives healing, we don't have to pray and ask God to come and heal us. Again, I use the verse from 1 Peter 2.24 that by his stripes we were healed. It was done 2,000 years ago. Jesus isn't going to heal you today. You've already been healed. Now you may receive your healing today. You may be learning some things. 
that allows your faith to reach out and appropriate what God has already provided. But you aren't going to have Jesus come bear stripes on his back for you today. He did that 2,000 years ago. And by his stripes you were healed. It's a done deal. God doesn't have to do anything to heal you. He's already put that raising from the dead power on the inside of you. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 19 and 20. It's already there. These whole these doctrines that we come up with that we've got to somehow or another pray and get a hole through the atmosphere through the demonic opposition so that our prayers can get up to God see that's denying who you are in the spirit you don't understand spirit soul and body you think that if you can't see it, taste it, hear it, smell it, or feel it, until it becomes a physical reality, you don't think God's done anything. So you got to get your prayers up past the demonic realm and into heaven. No, the reason you bow your head when you pray is so you can look at God. He's here. He's not out there. He is out there. He's everywhere, but he lives on the inside of you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. You bow your head so you can look at God and say, Father. Amen. Amen. If you understand this, it does away with so many stupid things. That religion has come up with. They'll pray at a church service and say, Oh God, we ask you to come and be with us today. It's a stupid prayer. I understand what they're saying. God's not mad. I'm not mad. But it does reflect the fact that we don't understand that he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst. And yet we're asking him to come. Why do we do that? Well, because we didn't see anything. Nobody jumped a pew. Nobody screamed. Nobody fell on the floor. If we don't see it, if we can't feel it, we don't think he exists. And so we ask him to come. That's just wrong. I was in a church service one time where the praise and worship, I mean, it was powerful. And the presence of God was there. God had manifested his presence, and yet the leader of the thing just stopped right in the middle. Oh, God, come. 
chokka banango omuko yali akulembera mu kusaboko na imirizo okutenda zino kusinza naga muti mukama jangu oh god we are asking you to come oh god fall from heaven come down from heaven unti mukama tukusaboje tukusabola bike ko va mugulo je in the moment he did that my perception of the presence and the anointing of god left Ira mangwa ko kasita ya kolecho endaba yange je nalinda bamwo kubera ko akatonda nevao Now I know that the Lord never leaves us but I'm saying that the awareness of it Manyide danti kana tavao na yenche ngama anti endaba yange Left when you start begging God for something that he's already done Yo ya vao kubao tandi ko kusaba katonde che chindu che yakoleda He's already with us. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. Why do we ask him to come and be with us? Why do we pray when we leave and say, Oh God, just go with us as we leave this place? Of course he's going to go with us. I'm never going to leave you nor forsake you. But see, these are just stupid prayers. And it's prayed by people who are carnal. Who are going only by sight and feel. And because they don't feel anything, then they start begging God to come. They beg God to go with them because they aren't don't have any faith that the word of God is true. It would be so much better for us just to stand on what the word of God says. And act on it in faith. And I know that there's somebody watching this saying, but I want to feel all of this. Did you know you will actually have better feelings when you quit seeking feelings and instead start walking by faith? I have a lot of feelings. I don't usually talk about it a lot because if I was to tell people some of the things that I feel, there's sometimes I pray for people and I have tangible physical feelings. But if I was to go to telling people what those were, then people would start saying, praying and saying, oh God, I want to feel what Andrew felt. And until they feel what I felt, then they wouldn't think that anything is happening. Again, that's carnal. I have feelings. I perceive God. There are times that man, it feels like I'm about to bust. I'm just so full of the joy and the blessing of God. And so when I have feelings, I enjoy it. But you know what? If I don't feel anything, I'll still act on the word of God. And I'll do what the Bible says about me regardless. Of what my feelings are. You know, I've got another to I've said this that just about everything I teach. Comes through these truths that I teach here in spirit, soul, and body. I've got another teaching entitled Harnessing Your Emotions. That is based on this revelation. It's just the same thing applied in a different area. Just about everything that the Lord has shown me comes from understanding that it's in the spirit realm. And 
that we are united with Christ. It's in the spirit that we're born again. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. Era omuntu wa fowomo ye yaloko ka e ulitugama ante bikadebi age ndaka tibulichimu chifuso chipia. It's in the spirit that I have this new spirit that is identical to Jesus. Era moyo wange yaloko ka mwe nina ono omoya fana nila dara kristu yesu. Sounds for ounce molecule for molecule identical to Jesus. Ntibuli ndaka butonde yo na jenina mumoyo. E fana nila dara ndaka butonde yo kristu jaina. It's in the spirit that I have the mind of Christ. And everything else flows out of this. And I'm learning how to walk in the Spirit. Since I can't see or feel the Spirit, I learn how to walk. In what the Word of God says. Because Jesus said, This Word is Spirit and it is truth. So praise God. This has changed my life. I believe it's going to change yours if you can receive it. Again, let me encourage you to get this book. I have a study guide specifically to teach. Other people, Bible study. We have uh, three different albums here. One live uh, DVD. One DVD that was made uh, from our television program, a CD set. We have an animated version of this. And we even have my wife reading this book, an audio book. Listen to our announcer as he gives you this information. Please call or write today. Thank you for listening to the Gospel Truth Podcast in Luganda. Please subscribe to our channel and get notified of our new episodes. You can also check us out at awmuganda.net. You're blessed. Hi there, my name is Angela and I am a lawyer. When I came to Caris, I loved God. I was pursuing his things, but I didn't fully understand who he was. Caris has helped me understand my identity and my authority. Now I can step out in boldness and with power as a child of God. My name is Marvin. I'm a graphics designer. When I joined Caris Bible College, I was a drug addict. Four months down the road, having sat under the word, I was totally set free from all the addictions and the desires, and I am now entirely delivered. Be a part of those who testify. Enroll to Caris Bible College in this 2024 intake. Your life will be transformed, built into a leader ready to change the world. Apply online at karisuganda.net or visit us at Park Royal Mall, 6th floor, along Buganda Road, Kampala. For more inquiries, please call us on 0200-330-000. Join Caris Bible College. Join Caris Bible College. Come on to Caris. Caris Bible College, transforming lives, training leaders, and changing the world.